All right, family. All right, all right. Thank you for your patience today. Uh, what's going on, family? Oh, dude, we are living in some important times, family. Me and KT's right on time with this fast, y'all. The shit that's happening right now, you know, they say as above, so below, and I'm jumping yeah. the gun because it's so important. But wow, me and KT, I mean, we're we're in perfect alignment. And we're not thank- resonating, are we? Oh, oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good word. We're not in resonance, are we? We might be in resonance, my friend. We might oh, be in resonance. I didn't tell you I was wearing green today, Rich. Hey. That's you how it happened. You got the black and green. I got the black and green. We didn't even do that. That's how that's how it happened, bro. That's you know how it man? happened. Let's hurry. We uh we gotta get this started because this is gonna be an amazing show. Yes. Um, we got this fast starting tomorrow. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the Schumann resonance and what that means for the people that are participating in the fast and participating in grounding and all that. It's all connected, family. We're going to have a good time. Yes, we uh, are. Let me get to these commercials real quick. Hit the like button. Tell your friends and family something of utmost Share, importance cry, is going down. That good stuff. Yeah. Be right back in one minute, family. Hey there. Had a bad dream? I have dreams too. Some parts are scary and some parts are fun. Always remind yourself. It's only a dream and everything will be okay. I had a dream about being in a forest too. Check it out. My pet Petey was with me. Order your copy of Kayla Petey and the Forest on Amazon today. Hey family, it's King Simon, the founder of Numerovation. Remember, if you want to book a session with me and get a Numerovation consultation, all you have to do is text me your full name and date of birth to 347-496-1022. And if you want any of my books, go to linktree forward slash King Simon, the Numerovator. That's King Simon, the Numerovator. And your books are available on Amazon. Remember, I'm the El Numero Uno, the Numerovator himself. And if you want to book a session, all you have to do is text me. Make sure you get my books on Amazon. I love you. Peace. All right, all right. So first and foremost, uh, I want to thank uh, the brother KT for being back on the show. Welcome back, my brother KT. Thanks for having me once again, Rich. Yes, indeed. Looking forward to tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, we got some um in, in very important things to talk about with the family. Uh, let me just give y'all an update for everybody participating in the fast. I sent out the PDF yesterday. So if you got the PDF, let me know in the chat if you got the PDF. Anybody who uh, sent in a donation today, I did not send it out as of yet. I sent it out this, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I didn't send it out as of yet. So uh, I'm going to be sending it out again um, Mm -hmm. tonight. And I also will be sending out the Discord. Everybody will get an invite to the Discord by the morning. So the group will be on and popping. Uh, Somebody said, got it, got it, got it. Somebody said, no. Uh, B Donation, you, uh, your name is Bridget. I'm looking at you right now. You sent some money in today. I'm looking at you right now. You sent in two payments, Jackie Barnes 148 and another email. So I see you sent it today. That's why you didn't get yours, but everybody should have gotten it. Uh, a couple of y'all sent it to the wrong cash app. I keep warning y'all, family, this is the only cash app. Somebody, a couple of people sent it to Black Magic with a J. And um, yes, that that's not my cash app family. You got to pay attention. But regardless, uh, yeah. So that is the. Is that how you spell magic, though? Man, listen, I I, I don't know what's going on. No, it's not too late to join. Somebody, it's not it's not too late to join. Uh, just sending your donation to Black Magic three six three. Uh, we're gonna be forming a Discord group tomorrow, and I'm gonna be sending out the PDF tonight and tomorrow mm-hmm. as well. So it's definitely not too. I want all of y'all to join because of what's happening. Uh, KT. You yes. see what's going I mean, this is a what the hell's going on, my brother? Ah, man, listen, every, every time we we decide to do something, there's always some universal thing yeah. to take place to kind of like consecrate what we yeah. do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Let it be known. OK, this is the right moment in time. And, you know, what's deep. We were supposed to do the show yesterday that's what makes it even crazier oh you're right right you're right so you're right it's yeah. actually gonna go down at the same time but you know it's it's it all relates but you know for those of y'all that don't know what we're talking about right now <clears throat> we had um a cosmic interdimensional anomaly that took place yesterday and 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 let's not forget you know we're, we're coming off of a huge weekend first of all big shout out to 19 keys in the highest level tour. 
Definitely. Because um, I'm I'm fresh off the stage from that from a, an amazing uh, event that we did down in Houston. I heard you tore it down, KT. I'm talking about down. Uh, listen, listen. I'm talking about down, bro. To tell you now, um, I got up on that stage like I was born on it. <laughs> yeah. and blew the people away. We was inside that theater. Beautiful. That theater was beautiful. It was immaculate, and the people were just so receptive. Um, it, it, they, I learned from them as much as they got from me. It, it was an excellent even reciprocatory exchange that took place, you know? Excellent. So, excellent. um, got that. And then it, it was, it was interesting because it was the last stop on the tour and I was the last speaker. So I actually got the Ooh. tour up and then 19 came after me and he, he went out there and just like, he went off, <laughs> mm -hmm. he went off. It was crazy. You know, um, blue was there, red was in the building. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was an amazing event, amazing experience. You know, and I got to meet amazing people. So big shout out to to 19 Keys for that opportunity. And I and I look forward to seeing you know the journey of the tour. You know what I'm saying? And just mm -hmm. all the content that got expressed in that. You know, so we had that. We had that was on Tupac's birthday. Mm. Okay. Then we had Father's Day, we had Juneteenth, right? We had all of this energy going on. And then yesterday we get this, this anomaly that took place within the Schumann resonance. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I want y'all to listen to that word, Schumann. <laughs> Shoe. You know what I'm saying? Shoe. Schumann. You mean, you mean somebody shoe? You mean like somebody right. shoe? Right. Oh, and we're, and we're grounded? Oh, okay. But, but not just that. Oh. How about the fact that when we look at H. Kemet, who was Shu? The wind. Right. He was, he was represented by the feather, and I always speak on how the feather dealt with static electricity. Mm. Right? So that represents the, 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 um, the energy difference, the electric potential between the ionosphere and the Earth's surface is what Shu represents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It so happened that this this guy's name was Shu Man, and we're dealing with the Schumann resonance. So the reading that ended up coming up, you know, it's usually one type of reading that comes up. But man, yesterday that thing looked mm -hmm. straight out of across the Spider Verse, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. That was not the show perfect it. example of the multiverse and graphic form. Yes, yeah, show these people. Look at this yo, thing. Yo, y'all see this shit? Come on now. Never before seen before. Ever. Right. Never. Right. So what we looking at is, hold on one second. Let's see. Not yet. Not yet. I'm about to pull um, I'm about to pull up a slide in a second. But what you're looking at right now is some of the most intricate interference patterns. Mm. All right. You're looking at standing waves, all right, and and what you call deconstructive and constructive inter interference patterns. All right, let's see. Let me pull up something real quick. And, and while KT pulls that up, family, we have to pay homage and understand the importance of it falling on Father's Day because if it fell, if this happened on Mother's Day. Everybody will be talking about the great mother and the divine feminine. Shout out the divine masculine energy, the divine masculine presence in the universe. For it to fall on Father's Day, shout out to all the men out there that's holding it down, not only in their homes, but in their communities and in the world and teaching and doing something productive. We need that energy to take it to the next level. It ain't going to happen with just the divine feminine or just the divine masculine. We need both. And I hope this wakes up the divine masculine because this was if this was a sign, if this ain't a sign, we ain't never gonna get a sign. This is a big sign, divine, divine family. <laughs> big sign, man. Let's see, pull this up. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and uh while he continues to look for that. Uh, just a reminder for those just checking in, we have a fast starting tomorrow. It's a virtual fast. It's seven days. A PDF comes with it. I'm going to be sending it out again to everybody tonight and tomorrow. Uh, besides that, we're also forming a Discord group. It's a seven-day fast, but 
the main focus is grounding and family. If the earth is talking to us like this, with this type of electromagnetic waves and pulses, this is the perfect time to ground. Could you imagine what the hell is being communicated to us if we just plug in? Imagine plugging in and getting the best electricity you ever got in your life. This might be the most pure form of electricity we've seen in all our years of existence. It's the time to you. I'm, I'm going to ask KT about the 12 strand DNA. Uh, I heard about that in this, and we're going to get into all of that. But this is the perfect time to ground. This is why I say we, we in perfect alignment with this fast. Kudos to you if you already signed up. You are in alignment. Man, everybody, listen, man. Even if... All, all the people out there, even if y'all don't like me and KT and y'all just here to hate, go out there fast. Go out there fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go out, I mean, go out there and, and ground. It'll change your perspective on things. It'll make you a better person. It'll pull some of the hate out of you. Just go up there and fast, y'all. I mean, like, I don't know what else we could tell y'all. All right. You found the camera? I got no, they they up. I'm just trying to blow the pictures up. For those asking what the cash app is, the cash app is on the bottom of the screen. I'm looking for the link to pin it in the chat, but I'm I'm not used to posting my link, direct link. So uh I gotta try to find it. But yeah, if you're interested right. in joining the fast, you gotta send a donation to the cash app and leave your email. That way I can send you the necessary information. So um oh, yeah, I can yeah. share now, right? I don't see it. Let me. I yeah. I didn't. I didn't pull it up on the share screen. Yeah. Here we go. Let's do. And before KT shows that, I want to show show y'all something else. This is uh, this is the PDF that the brother um, worked on, worked so hard on for the family, and uh, we're gonna be uh going through this for the fast, the soul to soul to sojourn. We have a theme for every fast. And that's the theme for this fast. Yeah, got, so you could uh you could bring up go to the go ahead and go to the first page because I know I was gonna talk about that anyway. Yeah. So the 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 Schumann resonance, right, is pretty much the resonance we, we deal with the ionosphere, which is the pretty much the electric um um space that exists. Um, above us, above our atmosphere, this is this is what, what where the lightning and all of that is generated at, right? And then when, when we talk about um, them using um, all of the the different antenna and the equipment and everything to mess with the weather and all of that, that that's the sphere that they're manipulating is the ionosphere, and it's called ionosphere because you got ion in there. Ion means charged particles, so that is the that is a very conductive area. Then you have the cavity, which is the space where we are in, where we, you know, where, where you have the air at, okay? And then you have the actual Earth's surface. So you have the Earth's surface, you have the ionosphere, and then you have a cavity in between. So when you're dealing with lightning, you're dealing with thunderstorms, and the, the clouds are, are generating all this electricity and having lightning, there's a, 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 potential that is created between the ionosphere and the earth's surface and what what is it called when we put our feet on the ground i mean i just said it what happens when we put our feet down on the earth rich when we take our shoes off it's called what oh we, we ground it right what we ground it right yeah, yeah so that's exactly the best example one of the greatest most natural examples of grounding is actually with lightning because lightning needs to ground because of the the potential that ends up being created between the the clouds and the earth's surface and the the energy needs to find find its way down to the earth so it, it finds a path and it does that by ionizing the air all the way down to the earth and they do that by liberating all of that nitrogen that nitrogen that gets liberated ends up becoming food for the plants as well as a lot of the fungi, hence why we have mushrooms that grow overnight. They grow overnight because of all of the liberated nitrogen that takes place from those lightning storms. So what what in order to get what you would call the Schumann resonance, which is actually 
the the uh, difference between what's going on in the ionosphere and the Earth's surface, they had to take the circumference of the Earth, divide that by the speed of light, divide that by two, and that's how they ended up coming up with what you call 7.83 hertz. Mm. And that 7.83 hertz is known as the heartbeat of the planet, which is based on all of the electrical storms, thunderstorms, lightning striking all over the planet. So we, you know, we see lightning storms and the thunderstorm roll around as an isolated event, but we don't understand that that's happening all over the earth all the time, all day. And that represents a pulse. So when we're talking about the, um, let me go to, uh, I got it in the queue now. Uh, okay. Let me take this down. Once again, family, this right here, <coughs> this is from the, um, PDF for those who have, uh, and it goes on. I'm not yeah, going to show gonna, you everything. We're going to come back to it. Trust yeah, me, but this is the PDF. It is the PDF for the fast. Everybody will get it tonight. Uh, Most of the majority of y'all got it, and I'll be sending it out again tomorrow. Once again, I will be creating a Discord group tomorrow for everybody joining. It's not late to join. In order to join, uh, you send a donation to Black Magic 363 uh, Make sure you leave your email address. People are asking what the donation, just uh, some, something, anything but a dollar. Uh, and I've seen a couple of y'all sent a dollar, but anything but a dollar. Just, you know, the brother put together this amazing PDF. We're forming a group. Just, you know, anything but a dollar, family. But, um, <laughs> anything but a dollar. Uh, but, yeah, let's continue, family. Trading places. <laughs> All right, go ahead, KT. All right, so Schumann Resonance, Lightning, Ionis. Can you make that any bigger, Kate? Okay. Uh -huh. Can you make that? Uh, let's see, let's see. Hold on, hold on. Um, where is it? Oh, hold on. Where is it? If you can, it's all good. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the slide. Hold on. Where is the, yeah, okay, hold on this, that's that one now, two, okay, here we go, nice, it's, it's at its max right there. Okay. Yeah, it's small on the screen though? Uh, it's, it's good enough. Just some people, they they looking at it on their phone, so they'd be like, oh, uh, I got you, got yeah. you, got you, got you. Well, nah, it's the, the, the lettering. Lettering is big enough. So, and it's just the cover page anyway. So Schumann resonance, lightning, ionosphere, and the Earth's surface. And what we got over there on the right is we got the image that Rich showed earlier to just show the amazing waveforms. Because we, you know, when we think about waves, we think waves are a thing and they're not a thing. They're actually the remnants of a thing. They're the effects mm. of something happening. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you think of electromagnetic waves, it's it's something that's making it wave. All right. So the information ain't the wave. The wave is just the proof that there's something happening. You know, like you feeling wind against your skin. You know, you know that the wind right. is blowing, even though you can't see it. Right. So what you're looking at right now, right now is just an intricate example of these particular waveforms that's occurring based upon some shift or some change that is happening on the planet Earth, you know? And what we're doing is we're creating this soul to solstice uh, um, fast because the soul is on the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. The sun is the soul, you know? Mm -hmm. And we're dealing with the solstice, which is actually the time of the year in which we have the longest day, which means mm -hmm. we have the most solar exposure. So if we know that, the Schumann resonance, which you're looking at right now, is based on the difference between what is going on between the ionosphere and the Earth's surface. And we're telling you to take your insulators off and to place your souls on the Earth. What better way to tap in and utilize this grand shift in energy that's taking place other than through your feet? Mm -hmm. Who would have thought 
<laughs> change and the shift would take place based on something as simple as your feet kicking your shoes off. Whew. Like Amazing. Escape said it years of kick off your shoes and relax your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Party on down to right. escape, right? Just yeah. kick it, you know? So now it's time to actually do that, you know? Let me um go to this next one. One. That one's mad spawn. We're going to go to this one. Go back to this main one I had up from the from yeah. the other one. That's big, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put the PayPal. I see y'all talking mm -hmm. about it. The, put the PayPal in the chat, y'all. Mm -hmm. For those of y'all that can't do this. Yeah, the international people. Give me one yeah, so second. For those that are just joining, we are starting our fast tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first day of summer. It is the solstice, the longest day. You know, I've been talking about y'all getting the sun time and time again. So now it's no excuse. We got we got the UVB energy in the afternoon. We got the powerful AM light in the morning. We got the amazing sunsets at night. So we got all this powerful energy for us to tap into, you know, and it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow is the time. So if y'all are not on this fast yet, I suggest y'all go ahead and PayPal or Cash App Rich so you can get the necessary information and get uh, so you could join the Discord group. You could get this PDF. This is one of the pages out of the PDF. We got, I think I got like 20 something pages in there this time. Um, oh, it's thorough. It's thorough. It's, oh, it's super it's thorough. thorough. It's, it's thorough. very thorough. You're gonna you're gonna get all the information you need and really understand how important grounding is. So, rubber and plastics are electrical insulators that prevent the flow of electrons. So, you know, I'm talking about soles and shoes and sneakers, but what about that nylon? What about the the polyester? What about all of those um, um, plastic and artificial and synthetic clothing that is sitting upon your skin? Mm -hmm. You know, you have to keep those things in mind, too. We're supposed to be wearing hemp. We're supposed to be wearing cotton. We're supposed to be wearing wool. We're supposed to be wearing the natural fabrics, you know, not all of these artificial fabrics that are disconnecting us from the, the, the elements that exist around us that are what exist to enable our power. Our, our power is inherent and is connected to our environment. That's how we, we stay in, in a state of constant health. When we disconnect, just like when you disconnect the phone, yeah, you still could use your phone when it's not connected in the wall, but you notice that over time, the battery gets used up. And if you do not plug that phone back up in time and charge it back up, the phone eventually is going to die. We actually use that term, you know. So we also live and wor work in environments that are electrically separate, uh, but that separate our bodies from the earth. Our houses are elevated. People are in condos, you, you way up away from the earth's surface. Our houses are elevated. Many of us live or work in high rise buildings that are far from the ground. This electrical isolation from the earth has detrimental effects on our health and it's time to start paying attention, you know, so it assists with our heart. All right. And, and the frequency in which we beat, you know, when, when we talk about the Schumann resonance, keep in mind that we can use our body like the macrocosmic example, because I can go into the mitochondria, too. But the macro the macrocosmic example of our body in regards to the human resonance would be of that, like the brain, the lungs and the heart. Okay. So the brain being like the ionosphere, you know what I'm saying? And, and the, the, the actual space of the cavity that's in between the ionosphere and the earth's surface can be likened to the lungs, you see? And then we, we got the heart, you know, dealing with being with like the earth's surface. And we know that the earth's surface has great electrical potential, just like our heart beats, all right? The Schumann resonance is a beat. Our heart beats and it creates a grand electromagnetic field. You know, our brain has all of these neurons and all of these nerves, and these nerves are constantly firing, all right? Also creating this energy. And there's a difference that happens in between 
our brain and our heart and what's in between those two. That's something very important. That's the lungs. And we know our lungs is a cavity because it's constantly filling with air and we're constantly expelling carbon dioxide and our diaphragm <clears throat> is like a pump, you know, so we can look at elements in our body to kind of get an example of how the earth is an organism in itself and that we can tap into these energies because we are a resonant field in respect to the earth itself, just like the earth is with us. And we're supposed to resonate and align with the earth so that we can properly, you know, utilize our, our, our health and our God given abilities. So yeah, let me go to the next one. Yeah, I got these, um, these slides, that's three. Let's go to this next one. I don't want. All right. So like I said, the cavity between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere acts as a resonant chamber for electromagnetic waves. The waves bounce back and forth between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere, creating standing waves with specific frequencies. So we're dealing with a situation where when you ground, you're able to tap into the ionosphere just by grounding. I'm going to say that again. Just by grounding, you tap into the ionosphere of the Earth, the most potent and powerful energetic space that is above our heads, we're able to tap into it. Keep in mind that even when you looked at Kemet, you had Newton Geb. Remember, Geb was always doing what? He was grounding. What was, what was his, his position he always had in every image that you saw? Mm. Feet, he had his behind, he had his elbow <laughs> and his palms laying on the earth's surface as he looked up to Newt. Um, um, arching over him into the sky. And what was the element that separated Newt from Geb? It was Shu. Mm. And now we're talking about the Shu man resonance representing the cavity that separates the ionosphere of Newt from the Earth's surface of Geb. Mm. It's powerful, okay? Huh? Powerful. I don't got to make none of this up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Awesome. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Yeah, these uh, these slides are um, separate. Mm -hmm. So I got I to gotta bring them up one by yeah. one. No, know? definitely, definitely. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let's go to the next one. KT, you have a, somebody uh, mentioned this. Uh, do you have a, you have a ground at night? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially with moonlight. Keep in mind that there's cosmic forces. We got we got the celestials, man. We mm -hmm. got we got the stars above us. Mm -hmm. You know, so we mm -hmm. got to. Um, yeah, I need to blow this one up. Um, we have the stars above us, and those stars have a lot of frequencies as well. Mm -hmm. So we got to tap. We get. We're definitely able to tap into that. Mm -hmm. Let's see that seven one. All right, let's pull that up next. Boom, right. Yeah. All right. The Earth's surface plays a role in determining the size and shape of the cavity, which in turn affects the frequencies of the Schumann resonance. OK, so what let, let's unpack that real quick. The Earth's surface plays a role in determining the size and the shape of the cavity. And the size of the shape of the cavity is shoot. It's what's in between the ionosphere and the Earth's surface, okay? But the Earth's surface is what determines the, 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 the Schumann resonance. It affects the Schumann resonance. So if the Earth's surface plays that role in determining the, the size of the resonance chamber, how important is grounding? Mm. Because you're tapping into that Earth's surface. Mm -hmm. That's where your souls are planted. Your soul is grounded and planted in the Earth's surface so that it can determine the size of the resonant chamber, the cavity, which in turn is going to affect what the Schumann resonance frequency is. So we've been telling people to get ready to ground, Rich. Yeah. We've been talking in the last few shows about grounding. Yeah. People have been increasing 
going out, taking their shoes off, putting them in the grass, and what ends up happening to Schumann resonance has an anomaly. Mm. Because it because you are able to affect the Schumann resonance and the shape of the cavity when you ground because you're interacting with the surface of the earth. The ionosphere plays a role in reflecting and refracting electromagnetic waves, which can affect the propagation of the Schumann resonance. The cavity between <coughs> the surface and the ionosphere acts as a resonant chamber, which amplifies the specific frequencies of the Schumann resonance. A resonant chamber, you, you could think of a guitar. You know what I'm saying? Because in a guitar, you got the strings, right? But then you got that hole and that cavity in that space. If that hole in that space wasn't in that guitar, you wouldn't even get you wouldn't get that same that 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 same sound out of it, that same harmony out of it. You know what I mean? We have a resonant chamber with inside of us as well. You know, pe people that sing, people that ohm, and you get those vibrations. It's the resonance. It's the oscillations of the 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 cords and everything inside the body that start to create all of this light inside so we we have this on a macrocosmic scale on the earth but we also have this on a microscopic scale with ourselves also all right let's go to this next one let's see which one i want to that was seven years eight right there. A lot of people don't make the connection between the Schumann resonance and ancient Kemet. So this is real good uh, with what you're doing. Shout yeah. out to everybody who talks about it. I know um, uh, Rod Hayes came on my show, talked about it, uh, the brother Kalai. Um, he talks about it. And shout out to everybody else throughout the Dr. Valentine all these years who talk about it. You know, so but I'm saying the mere fact that it's called a shoe man, right? Yeah, no, you know yeah, I mean, man? like, no, it, it, it's right, it's right in our face, no, you definitely. Know what I'm saying? And you know, we, it, you know, of, of course, it's named after German scientists and everything like that, and he's obviously not shoe, but you know, we, we can't get stuck on that because we clearly understand that, um. You know, uh, 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 the, the free the entanglement and the frequencies of the tonations transcend all of that, you know, and it is right. the reason why he's the guy that gets accredited with this, you know, talking about how important lightning storms are. And when you when you're talking about lightning coming down from the ionosphere to the earth, that's shoe all day. And his name is shoe man, you know, and, and just the fact of shoes being used to be grounding like we used to have natural materials um as the souls on the shoes at mm -hmm. one point in time it wasn't until the 60s then we, we started getting into the artificial um materials that ended up becoming the souls of the shoes and we got disconnected mm. you know so overall the earth's surface the ionosphere and the cavity between them are important components of the Schumann resonance and their electrical properties play a crucial role in shaping the unique and characteristic frequencies of this natural phenomenon. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're dealing with an amazing phenomenon that just took place. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we're in it. It, it. I don't want people to think, oh, I missed it or it's gone yeah. or something like that. Nah, you in it. It's happening right now in real time. You know, so now's there's no better time right now than right now for you to step outside. Mm -hmm. And put your feet in that earth. Oh yeah, you gotta do it. You know, and it's oh, yeah. it's known as grounding, and it's also known as earthing. Yes, you know that's another term that that that's used for it. Now, mm -hmm. I want to put up. Let's see. Once again, we got while KT gets this select next slide, we got people mm -hmm. coming in and out the whole show. We are starting to fast tomorrow. Uh, the majority of you should have gotten a PDF. It includes a PDF on grounded and fast, and the fast is going for seven days. It's a virtual fast. We're forming a community on the Discord app, so we will all be able to communicate and talk and kick it and vibe with each other. It's a good way to tribe with your people and find a tribe that's on your same frequency. So uh, we're starting this tomorrow. It's not too late to join. If you would like to join, uh, you can send a donation along with your email 
to Cash App Black Magic three six three. Please make sure you spell it right, because if you don't, I won't. I will never get it. Um, for those of you, make sure you check your your spam mail, your junk mail. If you did not see it as of yet, I did send it to the majority of y'all. I will be sending it out again tonight and tomorrow. Um, the Discord is going to be popping tomorrow, y'all. It's going to be on and popping tomorrow. C Diggs, you got your PDF? Great, great. C Diggs, okay. I'm glad you got your PDF. Yes, yeah, great. It's a great PDF. Great PDF. And I, I, I want y'all to um, print it if when y'all get it. I want y'all to print it. That's what I want you to do and save it. Yeah, but go ahead, KT. Yeah, man. This is this is why I'm called the Arch Degree. Right here. <clears throat> uh oh, here we go. You know what I'm saying? This is why I'm called. Go. This is why I'm called the Arch Degree because you know new new this arching over. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? And if you look at all of these layers that exist over the Earth, um, they're 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 all arching mm -hmm. over. So we got the Earth as the base, as you see in the brown, right? And you can uh -huh. see that you can see the image, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you got the trop the troposphere. All right, and that's that's like thirty thousand to fifty six thousand feet. So this is this troposphere. This is where like the planes and everything be at. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Then you got the ozone layer in the stratosphere. All right, right. And and that's you know the ozone layer is all the way up. But then you got the mesosphere, you know, and the mesosphere is eighty five kilometers up. Then you got the thermosphere. All right, now this is where you get into the ionosphere. All right. 90 to 120 kilometers, 150 to 220 kilometers, 220 to 800 kilometers. We're talking 350 to 800 kilometers above, right? right. This is 1 million to, to 2 million 600,000 feet up, 1500 Celsius. They call it the thermopause. And then you get into the exosphere. Mm. So this is the area of the ionosphere. Mm. This is the newt that's hovering over the Geb. Ooh. Right. And then the the shoe is the is the troposphere is everything that's in between that. Uh -huh. All right. Everything in between that. And, you know, birds, a lot a lot of reasons why birds are able to fly the distances that they do so effortlessly is because of their feathers. And each one of their feathers have, mm -hmm. you know, their own little frills on them and, and they have a, a static charge on there. So. They're, they're not just beating their their wings to just muscle their way through the air. They're getting assistance by the winds, the draft, and as well as the electromagnetic force, you know, on their feathers. Because you don't, there ain't no featherless birds flying around, you know what I'm saying, up in the sky. You know what I mean? The olden birds got feathers, and them feathers is based on static electricity, hence why you saw the feather on the other side of the scales, you know, yeah. you, had, you had that you had the heart as the the A B the ob, which was a container which represented the storage of charge, and you had the discharge of of electrical forces based on the maat feather on the other end. You know, and you can see that play out because Shu had that feather mm -hmm. as well in between Newton Geb, as you can see. You know, in 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 this uh, diagram right here. So the ionosphere can be thought of as an insulator which blocks the flow of charges, the cavity between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere can be thought of as a semiconductor, which has variable <coughs> conductivity depending on the conditions. Mm. Depending on the conditions. Okay. So got that. see which one I put up yet. I think I wanted to do which one was that? That was two I just had up. Yep. Yeah. I'm about to put that one up too. I want to show y'all because I have um I have these waveforms. Somebody said my email is not showing on PayPal. It is. You just type it in the wrong email. Uh, it's Richard Merritt 7. I guarantee you typed in Richard Merritt at Yahoo. It's Richard Merritt, the number 7 at Yahoo. So that's probably why it's uh, not showing up. I'm going to go to this one. So, you know, I can't, you know, it's almost impossible for me to to talk about anything without talking about the mitochondria, right? Uh -huh. So one of the greatest 
examples we could we could we could use here to talk about the Schumann resonance and how this thing works and what I've been talking about is from a micro I talked about the macrocosm in the body let's talk about the microcosm of the body and that is the mitochondria now we the Schumann resonance is based on lightning striking uh. okay lightning striking the circumference of the her earth right the circumference of the word earth divided by the speed of light divided by two is how they end up getting the Schumann resonance. And the mitochondria is a double membrane organelle responsible for all the energy in your body has its own DNA. You think that your health is based on your nuclear genome when it's not based on the nuclear genome, the nuclear genome gets instructions based on the condition that the mitochondria is in. So the mitochondria gives instruction to your DNA on what to do. So if your mitochondria is stressed out, then it is going to communicate to your genome that is stressed out and whatever you make, whatever proteins you make is going to be made based on anxiety and stress. But if your mitochondria is being well taken care of and you're giving it what it needs, then it is going to empower your nuclear genome in order to make all the necessary components to create the super divine being within you. Now, the two membranes that exist with this mitochondria, the outer membrane, the inner membrane, the inner membrane is folded, as you see right here, all folded. And these folds, right, that exist are called cristae, just like Christ. The inside of the mitochondria is the matrix. Now, the electric potential of this cristae that you see right here is equivalent, I spoke on this before, to 30 million volts. 30 million volts is equivalent to a lightning bolt. And that's just a mitochondria, not all your mitochondria. So we have lightning bolts taking place with inside what a resonant chamber, because you got an inner membrane and you got an outer membrane, right? So you have your, you have your ionosphere, you have your resonant chamber and you have your earth surface all existing with inside this mitochondria. So as you tap into the earth and step on the earth and that ground surface and connect with the macrocosmic example of what's happening with the Schumann resonance, you're going to tap into and empower the microscopic version of your Schumann re resonance with the mitochondria, which the highest concentrations are going to exist inside your heart and your brain, you know, and in your liver, you know, so that that connection right there is going to bring great intelligence. All right. It's going to bring it's going to bring great drive and great power and great motivation, because when your heart and your brain is healthy, everything else falls into line. You know, when you look at disease and you look at the problems that exist in healthcare, what is the main issue that everybody deals with? And that's heart disease. It's, it's, it's the leading one. You know, I mean, um, iatropic is, you know, that's that's another one right there. We ain't going to talk about with that. I'm going to let y'all look that up. But that That's actually the most, uh, that's the biggest problem when it comes to Western healthcare. But the one that's advertised the most is the heart you know, cardiovascular. And that's because that's where all our mitochondria is. Y'all have to understand how important this organelle is right here. Mm. Because it represents the currency, the, the powerhouse of our cells and mm. our tissues that make up our body. So you're, you're not having no resonance. You're not having no grounding. You're not having no, none of this is happening without this mitochondria. And its most dynamic component, which blew you away the most, Rich, in the last show we did, and you know I mentioned it before, but it really resonated with you last time, was the fact that it makes its own water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we yeah. got we got cytochrome. We got cytochrome. Uh, where we got cytochrome three is right here. All right, and cytochrome three is what is going to make end up making water. I mean, cytochrome four, cytochrome three is right here. This is cytochrome oxidase. And whenever infrared, this says IR beam for infrared, whenever infrared hits that, you could bypass these other enzymes. And what you start doing is you start 
um, generating water and the water gets built up inside of the matrix. And this water can come out of the mitochondria through pores called aquaporin rings and then fill into the body and you end up uh, providing structured empowered water into your body, you know, for, for other, other processes and pathways, you know, with inside your metabolism that you need, you know, but this is coming from infrared light, which is 42% of the sun. So we have we have the solar uh, 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 energy that's coming. We have the Schumann resonance, the heartbeat. You know, if we're talking about a heartbeat, there's going to always be a magnetic field associated with that. You know, so you are tuning yourself with the message of the earth. You could read as many books as you want. Yeah. You could take as much instruction mm -hmm. from others as you want, mm -hmm. but nothing is going to compare like tapping into the earth itself and being able to get that message head on. But KT, KT, I got to say this. Now, if you're talking about a message, hold yes. on, because this is, I don't know if y'all realize, I, I need to put up a picture of how the Schumann resonance normally looks so y'all yeah, know. Put, put the before, put that before. Yeah, let, let, me, let me get it before. Let me get it before. Because that's, that's like getting screamed on. It ain't just a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, for real, for real. Uh, give me a second, fam, because I don't know if y'all realize. Okay, All right, let me do this. Okay, hold on. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Yeah, while while he pulls that up. Um. So yeah, in in the in the PDF, um, I go in great detail talking about grounding and all its effects over the body. One of the effects is called the umbrella effect. The umbrella effect, and what I want y'all. In order to visualize the umbrella effect, I want y'all to think of uh, Dragon Ball Z. When you think of Goku, Vegeta, and all of them, they start powering up. You see this kind of like auric bubble that 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 forms around them, and it's like nothing can penetrate. And that you create that type of bubble, and it actually wards off um, harmful electromagnetic frequencies such as five Z, five G, and the other. You know, so that's why when you go around trees and mountains, 5G and all that stuff don't work. Well, you can do that same thing just by putting your feet in the grass and in the soil. So, yeah, the the way that the Schumann resonance usually looks on a printout is over on the left. On the left. Here, here on the right, you have what you call the Tomsk, the Tomsk version. All right. The Tomsk version. And this version is actually from Russia. Mm hmm. You know, this is the this is the Russian readout right here. And, it, it you know, I, I, across from the Spider-Verse came to me immediately because I was like, it looks multidimensional. It looks like webs, you know, but, but what you're seeing is you're seeing interference patterns, interference patterns. This is when um, waves are in phase and out of phase and they end up crossing and, and forming nodes, which are points. You know, and this these waves that are that are crossing these interference patterns that are that are being created, they are the result of something else happening. I mean, this is a, a divine geometry. Matter of fact, when you go into this area right here, you know what I'm saying? This looks just like the melanosome picture. You know, when you end up making your melanin, this is exactly mm. how melanosomes look. Mm. They got a line going across and then. It comes under here and then it keeps going and forming this kind of um, elliptoid shape right here, you know, and then you have a, a, a more pinched version of it over here. You can even liken this to the thunderbolts, you know, the thunder. I know you didn't seen those before, uh, Rich, those those artifacts. Yeah. Um, the thunderbolt artifacts. This is exactly how. Yeah. With, with the. You know? uh you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. You got the thunderbolts up in there. You have this kind of constant um, wave going through here. It's 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 the brightest line. That one is kind of consistent. And then you have all these other lines that are interweaving through them. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 a it's a beautiful pattern. And it's like you might want to say, oh, what does this mean? Well. When I did the Melanin Rising uh, event and I talked about how the body is able to take um, very kind of basic and simple um, 
instruction in order to create complex systems, right? And what I what I used as an example was uh, jacquard cards. Now y'all might not know what jacquard cards are, but when we started dealing with fabrics, um, you know, with a loom, you know, loom, loom changed everything. That 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 cut time in half in order to being able to create rugs and you know other textiles and things like that. But even looms was taking a long time, so. Um, jacquard cards were made and there were these these panels that had holes and they were missing holes and they kind of were were like a instruction that allowed you to create these real complex designs on the textile of your fabric. So when you deal with fashions, and you <clears throat> put these prints and everything like that on there and you're like, man, how long it take? Well, because of the jacquard cards, it was able to cut time in half. This was like the first computers that was being made. So from the jacquard cards, you ended up getting Morse code because they went into dots and dashes. And between the dot and the dash, they was able to translate a dot and a dash into letters and then those letters into words. So now you got something as simple as a boop, 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 boop. And that turns into being, um, you know, meet me around the corner. You know what I'm saying? Then after the dots and dashes, you get the one and the zero. And then the one and the zero leads into binary code in which you end up having computation with computers, right? But all of that is taking place outside the body when we actually have that same technology within our body in the form of hydrogen and deuterium, these two isotopes of hydrogen. When you deal with hydrogen and deuterium, which is heavy hydrogen, who has twice the mass, this is the same as the dot and the dash. This is the same as the one and the zero. And you're able to take this, this, these two simple um, atoms, right, that exist inside the body. And because of the, because hydrogen is on everything, like if you look at the molecules inside the body, you got carbons, you got this, that, but they're all surrounded by hydrogen. But how do you know which hydrogen is a deuterium and which deuterium is a hydrogen? Well, when they when there's different ones plugged in in different areas, that's like having dots and dashes. That's like having ones and zeros. So you take this real simple con uh, concept and now you're able to create the complexities of life based on how the ones and zeros are arranged. So this is the same thing that you're seeing here. This is ones and zeros, right, that are created in, 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 in a very simple manner that now is able to create a very complex pattern to provide a necessary message to your body, to your system, to your psyche in regards to where we're going in the future. Mm. Wow, man. Wow. Hey, KT, I don't know if you mentioned this earlier. Um but if the Schumann resonance correlates with our brain waves, uh, talk about talk about our mind and our brain waves, and uh, maybe some things we need we, we need to be doing to tap into that. Well, keep in mind that the mind is not in the head. Mind and the brain are two different things. Different things, yeah. Yeah, the mind is actually more of a unification of all your mitochondria. The ATP synthase is spin, spinning that electromagnetic field. Because mm -hmm. you're aware everywhere all at once. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, but no, in, in terms of the brainwave, yes. Because when, 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 first of all, when you ground, as you'll see in the PDF, is going to talk about what it does to the heartbeat, what it does to the brain in regards to the different states that you get in. You get into a meditative state. You start breathing deeper. Mm. You start breathing slower. All right. It's not as active when the brain is extremely active. You're not able to do or receive as much because you're so stimulated. Right, this right. is why we do the most work when we're regenerating at night, at least internal work. Externally, we do everything during the day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The far right is the star of David. You know, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. even peep it. We got the star of David in there. We got, I ain't even peep we got, it. We got DNA. We have the we have the ratcheted dodecahedron, but it's actually squashed down. We got DNA in there. 
You know what I mean? This 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 design is is um a what do they call it when superimposed? It is a it's a superimposed mandala mm. on on multiple levels. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I wanted to pull up the Jakar cards and fabrics because when you when you're dealing with um Sylvester Gates and his whole concept of the fact that the indinkra symbols um represent algorithms, right? Right. So when you go into Africa and you see all the fabric designs in Africa, all of those designs are algorithms on those fabrics. Because it's like if I'm not going to have my skin in the sun and it's going to be covered, it's going to be worth it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you can't tell me this don't look like no African fabric we're looking at right now. This is an algorithm. This is this is a shift. You know, and don't just look at it from left to right. You have to flip it. You know, uh-huh. you got the rotate uh-huh. option. You got to turn that thing up. You got to turn it upside down. You got to keep flipping it around. You need to take multiple pictures of this and lay them on top of each other. This, this, this is that, this, that old SETI. I'm going to send a message mm. <laughs> and see what they say back. Mm. Damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, that is. I that's hear you, Kate. That's that. That's Damn. that. I, that's that. Ashe, what, what, what do you say? What do you say after Ashe? I, I just be like Ashe. What? what yeah. do you <laughs> I owe. I, that's that call and response. You uh, know, that's that. Hey, yo, I. You know what I mean? That's that response. You know, are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you hydrated? Have you been grounded? Have I been telling y'all get up? Get that sun, you know what I mean? Get that energy, get that tap in, go to sleep at night, get your rest. Because when that when that message comes, are you gonna get it? Are you gonna know what to do? Are you gonna be so, prepared? So KT, we like this. You see the screen? We like this satellite right here again. That's exactly what we like, huh? Yes, exactly. No, I'm talking about literally. Yeah, we 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 remember I told when we did the structured water, right? I said, yeah. I said. The I said broadcast, right? I mm-hmm. said signal, and I yes. said antenna. Yep. I said what is the antenna? We ninety percent water. water. We the antenna. antenna. We right. got we got the nine ethers coming out our scalp. We the antenna. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Walking around picking up these these necessary subtle frequencies. Now this one was not subtle. <laughs> 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 this one wasn't subtle. This was that old mystical. This this was that uh somebody looking for me. Here I go. Uh-huh. This uh-huh. that uh this that Annie up. Yeah. This that put put your hands where my eyes could see. You know what I'm saying? This listen. one is this one's loud, bro. Listen, y'all. We're we gonna take a couple of questions before we get out of here because I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm gonna uh send I'm gonna be sending out stuff uh to y'all tonight and in the morning. Uh once again, for those who's just joining us, we got over 2,200 people in the building. Something big went down. Something big went down that never went down before in recorded history in terms of the um, Schumann resonance. And um, it's time, y'all. We uh, I remember the beginning of the year, me, Billy, and Dr. B talked about this being uh, the God power year, the blueprint for God power. The we, God we, power is out there. We're here. We're here. What better we, way than it to come? It's, it came on the solstice. On the solstice. <laughs> Well, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't want to be Damn. some people, you don't gotta be. Stay inside, choose the blue light. Yeah, the blue light. Go, go with the blue light. And that's another thing. That Schumann resonance is green, yellow, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Little tinges of red up in that thing. You know what I mean? Um, I want to remind y'all too, for those of y'all that are in New York, New Jersey, Philly, mm-hmm. Connecticut, I will be at the Alkaline Oasis this Saturday. Facts. Buzzing with benefits, okay. Talking about the blue honey and the microdosing. You know what I mean? So you you know you want to talk about being on a God frequency. Psilocybin is God's number. DMT is God's phone number. That's how you dial up and talk to Him whenever you need to. And I'm going to be going in great detail talking about um um all of that. You know, and my, microdosing is so important right now because as much people that's going through uh, trauma. Um, anxiety, you know, all these mental health issues that that are plaguing our community. 
um, you know, all the studies are, are coming out in regards to how instrumental psilocybin is in regard uh, in comparison to antidepressants and all this other all these other techniques that people have been trying to use for people to, to, to improve their mental health. It, it's it's nothing like what the psilocybin is doing. You know what I'm saying? So you want to truly be prepared for these type of energies and all that's to come. Cause this is just, this is, this is the first wave. Don't think it's just this and it's done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is the first wave. This was just the little, this was the little drop in the bucket just to get your attention. You know, there's going to be, there's going to be more signals that are going to be coming through because we're antenna and that's what we look for. Indeed. You, know, you need to be, you need to heal. You need to open your mind up. You know, your mind is very closed. It's very, it's very, it's very uh, regimented and, and and rigid, you know, and you need to be able to breathe and open that, that brain up, open up your mind, be able to accept the opportunities that are going to be coming. You are the healing factor. You are the, the, the creator of your reality. And it's, it's, it's only going to be when you put it out there, you cannot be putting these limitations, um, getting up, uh, putting putting them in your way, putting these obstacles up here. Because at this point in time, it's it's go, mm. it's go time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, we got um we got the honey on the site, and for all of y'all that are joining the fast, I suggest that y'all go to the site and get get that honey. And the reason why I suggest that is this 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 is what you don't know, Rich. I mean, let me let me let me give you this one. What if I told you that bees don't fly, but they levitate? And, and the reason why or, or, or how bees are able to, to, to levitate is because bees, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This, I love coming full circle with things. Bees beat their wings until they match up with the Schumann resonance. I'm gonna Woo! say that again. I'm gonna say KT, you again. making that shit up? I'm no. KT, I'm you not. making that shit up? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say. I know it. you read a lot of comic books, brother. You making hey. this shit up, man? <laughs> man, is you this real? A comic book, baby. Jim is, it, is this real? You for Bees. real? They beat, beat their wings. wings. They match up with their. Sh Come on, man. Jesus Until God. they they beating them, you know. You remember in Back to the Future, right? Yeah. They didn't go back in time until they hit eighty eight miles per hour, right? Mm -hmm. That was the speed they had to get in order for them to to jump. Bees have to flap their wings, right? Until they are able to resonate and connect with the Schumann resonance of the Earth. When they do. They create a magnetic bubble around them. The reason why you know this is because birds don't fly backwards. Bees fly up, down, left, right, forward, backward, and hover. The only thing that does that is UFOs. <laughs> KT, man, come on, man. Uh, listen. You let me know what animal you know is able to move like that, Rich. I'll Come wait. Come on, man. I'll wait. Come on, man. Come I'll on. wait, bro. You ain't got to do us like that, man. Come on. When man. bees flap their wings, when they hit, and 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 they're eight, like, I don't think people understand how quick they can take off, how, how, how easily they bust a left and they bust a right. Mm. Flies don't go backwards and forth. They don't do that. F flies just zip around crazy. Like they about to crash into a wall or something. Like bees are very controlled when they fly. And they and the the and their anatomy, they're too heavy for them wings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it don't make no sense. So they create this magnetic bubble and they're actually levitating. Mm. So with that being said. When they're pollinating, the only reason why we're able to eat alkaline foods in the first place is because of the pollination that takes place all over the earth. And that happens based on them tapping into the heartbeat of the earth, the Schumann resonance to get from flower to flower. 
So when you're dealing with the original bee, the stingless bee that I'm talking about right now, what do you think is the frequency that exists inside that honey? Ugh. I, I don't know if y'all following where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to tap into this grounding, you need to be taking this honey and going outside and getting in that sun because that sun activates that honey, especially when it's inside your body. You're not going to have any other food. There's no other food that exists on this planet that never spoils. This honey lasts forever. Forever, so, ever? Forever, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it don't go nowhere. Wow. So what is it going to do for you? What is it going to do for your blood? What is it going to do for your tissues, for your skin, for your hair, for your eyes, for your breathing, for your sleep, for your rest? You know, it, it, it creates melatonin and melatonin means honey tonic in the first place. And that's what your pineal gland produces, you know, so tap into the Schumann resonance through grounding, tap in to the resonance field by making sure that you sun gaze and you get your AM sun tap into the Schumann resonance by getting the tears of Ra. The divine substance from these bees, which is the stingless bee honey, this Nessu nectar, because why did I call it Nessu nectar? Because of the Nessu bitty. Nessu bitty represents what? Right? The, the, the unification of upper and lower Kemet. This is the unification of the macrocosm and the microcosm. And the bee does that by distilling the rays of the sun here on earth through the beat of the earth and creating this elixir and this tonic for you and I. KT, what real quick, what shock shock wave mean? He said, um, true rich, a, a bumble not supposed to fly also. That's why he with Optimus Prime right hand. Nah. <laughs> what's that? I, I, what do you mean? He's saying that a bumblebee, you seen bumblebee. Oh, oh, the bumblebee yeah. from Trent. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> they ain't so fly because they so big, and that's why he's the right hand man, the Optimus Prime. Okay, bumblebee, right, right, yeah. right, right. He and he he was the introduction to the Optimus Prime was not the introduction to Transformers, it was bumblebee. It was actually bumblebee. Bumblebee, yeah. And then Prime came after, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that that's right. And remember, he, his voice box was messed up. So, how did Bumblebee communicate? Through the radio and shit like that. Through frequency, yeah. through the God frequency. Come on, Fritz. Yeah. yeah. He was talking through the God frequency through the radio. Shit is real. This shit is real, yo. Your it's family, this, this, this shit is real. This shit ain't everywhere. Really, this ain't entertainment, yo. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. <sighs> So we got, Man, we, got, we, got thing. we got the fast popping off tomorrow. We got the solstice coming tomorrow. You know what I mean? We got the longest days. That means y'all can get as much sun. Y'all need to be wearing shorts. Y'all need to be wearing t-shirts. Y'all need to be wearing sleeveless shirts. You know, take your shirt off. You know what I mean? Just walk around with some shorts on. You know what I mean? When you when when you and, and your queen going out or you and your king going out. Y'all going out to the park. Take your shoes off. Walk through the park without the shoes. Get on the grass. People go to parks and they walk down the pathway the whole time and then sit on mm. benches. Mm. And there's all the grass and all them trees and all them bushes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I know like in New York, there's a problem because a lot of these parks have been turned to dog parks, and unfortunately. Oh, you know man. Big time. But, yeah. But, you, you know, you go you go to the bigger parks and stuff that, you know, you got more space and everything like that. And y'all need to take them shoes off, walk together, have a picnic, take a nice little hemp blanket out there, throw that thing out and sit down with one another. Drink some watermelon and some cucumber juice or something. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Talk to each other, build about what? Whatever comes in the moment. Yes. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. Yeah. You know, that's what y'all need to be doing this summer. Get into these natural lakes and these natural ponds and these streams because you don't, uh, what, what, what we also have, um, uh, uh, listed is all the different areas which we talked about in, in the last show that you're able to ground. You're able to ground in the lakes and all of the different water bodies that exist. That's grounding as well. Hugging the tree is grounding. Sitting up against the tree is grounding. Climbing trees 
I love climbing trees. I like climbing trees and getting up to a big branch and just sitting up against and just chilling. So, com so comfortable. I haven't done that in a very long time, climbing oh, trees. It's time, man. It's very time to get time. back. Time to get back in it. Why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Like you getting off the earth, but you're still grounded at the same time. You know, awesome. that's the beautiful thing. But that don't happen when you're in a condo. Let me let me ask you this, KT. Um, you know, how, uh, in a lot of places they cut down the trees, and it's just the tree stump. I think I'm saying the right thing. Mm -hmm. What would happen if you ground on top of the tree stump? Is does that make it more powerful, more effective? Well, well, if it's dead, you'll know it's dead because there's no life around it. You know, then oh. then that's a wrap on that. You know okay. what I mean? Because then you got wood, and wood is an insulator. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But if it if it has regenerated, mean that now it has become a a nursery of sorts for new plants, moss, mm -hmm. you know, and and other things like that, and it's still alive to a degree. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you can still use it as a means of grounding because okay. it has it kind of has connected with the earth, and you can utilize that. Okay. You know, but but wood and wooden floors mm -hmm. and things like that, those are insulators, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Glad you told us that. Mm -hmm. uh, real quick, somebody said, where is the group for the people that fast? Um, the group has not been formed yet. It's going to be a Discord group. Um, this is why I'm collecting your emails. You will get an email with the invite link for the Discord community by tomorrow morning. Uh, some people will get it tonight, late tonight. Some people will get it uh, by tomorrow morning, uh, the latest. Uh, for right. those who are just joining us, for those who still do not know, we are, we are going on a seven-day fast with KT the Arch Degree. It's a fruit and veggie fast. We will be grounding every day. We got a Discord group that we are starting, and uh, it's going to be powerful. Me and KT do this every solstice, every about equinox, four times, all the equinoxes, trees. all of that. So it's especially important this time now, family. The Earth is sending us a message that it has not sent in a very, 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 very long time. How do we know? Because people are uh, reading the Schumann Resonance, <clears throat> and we are seeing the symbols that are being represented by the Schumann Resonance. And if you know cymatics, if you know sacred geometry, if you have just a little bit of intuition, as KT says, you know it's go time. Family, regardless whether you participate in this fast or not, Y'all asses need to be out there grounding. <laughs> yeah, tell them, Rich. <laughs> the, the iPhone is good. The, uh, uh, the Apple's new product, the, the, the new headset, that's dope. All this technology. AI is dope. Great. But the best technology in the world is available to us if we meditate, if we ground, if we fast, if we do these simple things, if we sun gaze. That's right. The best technology is available to us. Make sure you'll join. I want if, if we have 2,400 people in there, there's no reason, no reason in the world with Earth sending a message like this why we all shouldn't fast together. Man, you can send whatever, just don't be disrespectful and send a dollar. Send your donation to Cash App Black Magic 363 is at the bottom of the screen. Make sure you leave your email address. I don't know why anybody wouldn't fast with us. I don't know why you wouldn't join the Discord, become a part of a tribe. Uh, uh, learn things that you never knew about health and fasting and other things, as well as get this PDF that KT spent hours putting together. The um, let me put this on the screen again. And most of you got this already. Give me a second. So most of you got this already, and everybody will get it by the mall. The soul, the solstice sojourn, a fasting guide. So we got a fasting guide that deals with earth, earthing, grounding, other stuff, information. Foods we need to eat. I'll give you a little. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give you a little sneak peek. I'll give you a little sneak peek about some spices. You know, that's just some spices. That's light work now, right there. Now, what y'all need to know about spices, remember, spices are also known as seasonings. Yeah. And the reason why they're called seasonings is because these are plants that manipulate the seasons in the body. Yeah. So some 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 of them deal with fall, some of them deal with winter, some of them deal with spring and summer. What does that mean? Some of them are hot, some of them are cool, some of them are cold, some of them are warm. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? And the combinations of these spices ends up uh, creating um, um, seasonal situations with inside of the body because some areas of your body might be inflamed and it needs to be cooled 
or they might be too cold and stagnant and need a little bit of heat, you know? Mm -hmm. So there, there's a whole art to spice. This is why, you know, the main commerce trade was always, you know, the spice trade back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's a lot of minerals and spices too. Like, man, you, you get you get a lot of things in. Remember too, with, with grounding, when you're hydrating, you know, take a little bit of sea salt before you drink your water. That's what's going to allow that water to be properly absorbed, you know, mm -hmm. properly absorbed. But um, what what else was I gonna say? Um, it, it escaped for me. But now nah, the the buzzing with benefits is on Friday, nine five eight Halsey Street in Brooklyn. All of y'all in the Brooklyn area, y'all been asking, KT, when you gonna come to Brooklyn? We gonna come to New York? We gonna do an event in New York? Here we go, here we go, and I'm coming with with two proton cannons. Like y'all have no idea what I'm about to drop on y'all heads, man. I can't wait. And you know, I always have stuff to give away and stuff to try out you know what i'm saying so it's it's about to be a blast and then you know it's at mr g spot so we got a whole smoothie juice bar up in the front you know what I mean? so you got the you got the all natural juices i just got yo i rich i got a sour sop the size of a small watermelon damn bro that joint was like this damn Stupid. So we got the sour soft smoothies. We got the cherimoya up in there. We got these seeded watermelons. We got fresh coconuts. Excellent. It, it's uh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. We get we get new tropical fruit, fresh fruit every day. We got some some banging patties. We got a curry chickpea patty. Woo! Right? Oh, that sound good. We got a curry. Oh, chickpea. that sound good. Oh, it's delicious. curry chickpea. Oh, that sound good, man. Yes, y'all yeah. got to come on down, bro. And then Mr. G got the Bontana oil on deck. I got I got all the products um, that's going to be on. So everybody in Brooklyn that's been trying to, you know, get some of the products from me, they're they going to all be in house um, on Saturday for sure. <clears throat> but the fastest tomorrow, I know y'all ready. I can't wait to see the new Paradise Pies. I can't wait to see what, what yoga positions Oh, gonna be gonna gonna be picks because that that's what I'm yeah. looking forward to because you know you know just to give y'all a little that that's part of it inside the PDF because what y'all don't know is we antennas and you ever notice Rich back in the day with the old TVs we had aluminum foil and antenna right mm -hmm. so you have to open it up you pull it this way right you hold it it'd be perfect but guess what you can't move so everybody be like stay right there stay right there everybody yeah, yeah. Have to watch the TV but you got to keep holding it. So that's what the yoga positions are for grounding. Because if you tap it into these frequencies, you know you can create a more efficient antenna. Mm -hmm. And you do that based on the geometrical shape that you create when you're grounding. And mm -hmm. that's through all of these yoga positions. Mm -hmm. So uh, as opposed to the standing, which, you know, y'all can still do that too and just do the feet and everything like that you can do the different yogas. Mm -hmm. And lastly, when you go back to Kemet and you look on them walls and you see what the picture was or the image was for a netter, you would see them, what? Sitting down, mm -hmm. right? With mm -hmm. their knee and you see the onk sitting right on top of them. They was grounding. Mm -hmm. Then you got the position when they was like that and they got they sitting on their knee on their yeah. on their butt with their knees up and the feet is mm -hmm. planted on the ground. Mm -hmm. So majority of all of the the uh, the divine uh, images and positions that you saw of the netter of the gods with Kemic, they were always in a grounding position and mm -hmm. they were barefoot. You show me where they wasn't barefoot on the ground. Facts. Walking around. So they understood, you know what I mean? Ain't no, ain't no God body if your feet ain't on the earth. How you got dominion on the earth and you disconnected from it? You explain that to me. Indeed. Uh, somebody asked, is it family? The spelling is on the screen. I don't know how y'all still don't get it. Yeah, it's maybe, scrolling. It's scrolling. It's scrolling. I don't know. Maybe it's cut off on their phone. Yeah, I think maybe like for that. some people it's cut off. But no, that's not how you spell it, y'all. I don't know. Like It's right. It's been on the screen the whole show. Um, let me let, let me let, let me get to a few questions uh, before we get out of here. Uh, let me see. Let me 
me see. Let me see. Hold up. Oh, somebody asked. I seen earlier if it's a twenty-four hour fast. No, it's a seven-day fast. Seven days, baby. We fast. We fasting for seven days. It's a seven-day fast, family. That's what we usually do. Uh, I know. I, I be. I be thinking some of y'all are familiar with this. I, I forget some of y'all are new to um the show and new to what me and Kate. We've been doing this for years. We've been doing this since I think. 2018. Yeah, it's been yeah. five. It's been half a decade. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been doing this since 2018. We, we we was doing it before Discord was even formed. I think. Yeah, I think we on WhatsApp. We, we was on, on WhatsApp. Yeah, we, we did on WhatsApp. WhatsApp about three times. Before yeah, Discord. Yeah, yeah. Before we moved like over. Three or four. Yeah. It got so big that um too many people were, we couldn't hold it on. We couldn't have it on WhatsApp no more. So we needed a bigger platform. Yeah, so we needed a bigger everybody. one. And even with Discord, we got it. And it'd be it'd be like five channels going at one time. Mad, yeah, mad different channels, bro. <laughs> they it's be crazy. They, they, they be making yeah, like yeah. And the last fast, they continued. I think for like two weeks after. Yeah, they was doing. They were still doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, doing people, thing. people's lives change. Their health change. They show oh, yeah. all their testimonials on there. It get all emotional near the end. People be crying and stuff and having emotional releases. But if you thought you had an emotional release before. Wait till you see what happens this time because you're 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 connecting with the planet. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Yeah, the planet is the the connection with the planet is absolutely necessary. You know, you uh, can't get better in the same environment you got sick in, and Earth is a very unhealthy environment for you to tap into. This this ev everything you need is in it. You know, you, you just gotta you just gotta touch it again. Stop playing. Uh, somebody said, check the cash app. Okay. Oh, a Senate. Okay. Greetings, gods. I am participating in the fast. I'm still breastfeeding. Is there anything I should adjust to the meal plan? I want to make sure my supply doesn't drop. Thank no, you. No, no, no. Because your main, your main thing you need, you know, is going to be folate. And, you know, that's going to come from all of the fruits, you know. So there's more than enough um, fruits for you to be eating on this fast. Um, you know, the solar exposure and the grounding is going to be very good for you. It's going to help you with your back, you know, and any other discomfort that you might feel in is going to give you a lot more energy. It's going to also calm, calm the baby, you know, so they're not so anxious and everything in there. So y'all could create more of a synergy and a harmony. Um, and then uh, what else? Uh, may maybe some of the spices, like, you know, the cayenne peppers and stuff like that you don't want to get into too much spicy stuff you know you can make slight adjustments but i think you know what those type of adjustments would be when you're dealing with your iron um let's see um breastfeed i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking you're pregnant you just you just talk about after after afterwards <laughs> yeah. afterwards so you want to get into the galactagogs which are going to be the herbs and the spices that promote the breast milk, which is the fennels, the cloves, the cardamoms, the fenugreeks, you know, all of those are going to promote a lot of, of breast milk. Soursop helps with breast milk. Look look at it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it got it's white and it's creamy. You know what I mean? It's going to help, you know, and it's going to create a great taste that the baby's going to love as well. So I would stay away from a lot of bitters, you know, no cascaras, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too bitter. You know, no, no obra grande. What is that? Uh, um, um, quassia. You know what I'm saying? None of those because your, your, your milk will get too bitter. The baby is not going to want to latch on no more, you know, and then your milk will dry up. So you want things that are going to promote um, um, aroma mm -hmm. and lactation, you know, where, where the baby is going to go crazy. You know, if you don't have the milk, you know, that's what you want. Uh, some Somebody said... Uh... Damn man, the chat is moving fast. I couldn't. Okay, yeah. Somebody said, "How much food should we eat?" And at, at at I guess he's saying at what time? That's in the guide. Yeah, it's in the guide. That's in the guide. The guide. Yeah, yeah, it's all in there. Yeah, KT explains that in the guide. Mm -hmm. What we should wake up doing, mm -hmm. the last meal we should have. He explains all of that. So yeah, all of that's in there. You know. Uh, let's get yeah, to. Me. Uh, let me see. Uh... Somebody said volume of fruits and veggies or whatever feels good. Yeah, it's like we said, it's 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 in the it's in the PDF. 
Yeah. We got we got the whole little menu pretty much with the itinerary during the day, and it still leaves y'all room to be creative. It's not so much with like you got to do this. Yeah, you still get to be creative in there. Right. You know? Wait till y'all start making y'all paradise pies for the first time. Um, the time too, all these fruits is available now. Ugh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Somebody said this. Is Danny says. What's your words of advice for those who might be held back from joining the fast by the fear of slipping up during the fast? I don't. I mean, what, what, I, what I would say is, you know, why are you putting that out there? Don't don't put that out there. Don't put that out. Don't know what if and maybe and what happens if. No, why don't you put uh, uh, what's my word of advice for those that. Uh, don't have any fear and won't slip up during the fast. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to change your thinking. Like, fasting is not just through what you're physically consuming. It's 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 how you think and how you process information. So this is a community effort. And you mean to tell me being able to be involved with an entire community of a thousand people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's not going to be enough inspiration and support for you to stay the course. Yeah, you know yeah. you're not yeah. alone is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a great point. Uh, KT made Danny. The community helps a lot. And that's why we do the discord when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like you can't make it no more. You read some of them comments, you talk to a few people and they'll give you a boost of energy. Mm -hmm. And if you if you do happen to slip up, some people do. Um, it is what it is, but you got to put forth the effort, you know, well, 50 said, get rich or die trying. What if he said, what if I never get rich? He didn't think right. like that. What, you know die, what, what if I die trying and never get rich? Right. Yeah. Like um, it's all good, Danny. It's all good. But you know, I would say go for it, man. Just go and for it. Ain't, it ain't like we doing a water fast. Yeah. 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 Or herb fat. You don't think you do is eat sea moss gel every day. You know yeah. <laughs> You got all these fruits and all be creative. This is the time to be creative. It's all there. Watermelons is everywhere. Papayas, mangoes, bananas, coconuts, all this stuff is everywhere. You know, <clears throat> a good a good tip is um if you if you find yourself craving anything, drink a cup of warm water. It's gonna mm -hmm. go away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your hunger, your hunger and your craving, it, it just it just goes away. What, yeah. what do you mean, like room temperature or warm water? Little bit, little bit warmer than room temperature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Warm water, not hot, but warm. Right, right, right. You know, that's that's gonna take away that feeling that you got, that craving that you got. You know, and this this is a this is a whole mental exercise, and and you are doing what needs to be done in respect to the message and the signal that comes. Everybody that finishes this fast. The 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 day after they're done, all types of blessings come to these people. It'd be crazy yeah. because yeah. you made an agreement with yourself. And when you fulfill yourself, when you when you when you follow through with your word, because words are power, words are magic. This is how you're able to be Doctor Strange and Harry Potter. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you're you're following through with what you said. That's true magic. Mm -hmm. The reason why. A lot of us lost our magic is because we say a lot and we don't follow through. Mm -hmm. So we weaken the magical ability of manifestation. See, if we can if we continue to follow through with what we say we're going to do, it makes the magic stronger. Mm. Definitely. We're going to... Um... Do two more questions, then we're going to get out of here, family. Just two quick questions. Any advice for sun gazers during multiple rainy days upon us in Philly, KT? Yeah, yeah. So rainy days don't mean there's no sun, because if there's no sun, it'd be pitch black outside. It'd look like nighttime. So there's still a good, uh, what is it, like 37 38% um, sun <clears throat> still penetrating through those clouds. So sun gazing doesn't mean you have to stare directly at the sun because sun's light, sun polarized, it's, it's, it's available, you know, no matter where you look around, there's light, you know, so you can cover, you know what I'm saying? Um, or you could, you can have some fun and run out in the rain for a second. You know what I'm saying? Get wet. Just make sure you dry your hair when you come back in, you know, 
um smell some of that petrichor you know what i mean that's that's that scent you know when the when the when the when the rain comes and it hits the earth that is very healing it produces serotonin and brings happy moods and it is very healing you know but but you, you go out on your porch your, your front deck uh, underneath your awning or whatever it is you might have and you know <clears throat> You can still get that light and still get that sun, but don't use that as, as an excuse to stay inside. You know, I understand if it's 20 below zero and it's a blizzard, you know, but if it's a good temperature outside and it's just some water coming out the sky, you're going to be okay. Indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, chat is, chat is, chat is booming. Um, oh yeah, because we doing Q and A now. You know they gearing up. They like yeah. what? Where we at with it now? What we about to start talking about? <laughs> Somebody said, "Can you take herbs and capsules on a fast?" Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, but if you want some herbs, you need to you need to holler at you can go to soionicbotanicals.com. Matter of fact, y'all should have already got stuff off the site from the last show and got prepared. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been uh, dealing with that Fido a lot lately, KT. Yeah, that Fido. Fido. And that yeah, Fido been dealing, beast, man. Yeah, that I've been Fido. dealing with that Fido. That Fido's a good one, family. If, that if, you, if you check out uh, KT's website, make sure you get some, what is it called? Fido? Fido Plankton? Fido Omega 3. Fido Omega, Fido Omega 3 because it, it, it's, it's a Fido Plankton and then it's Omega 3s are very abundant in there. You find EPA and DHA actually in there. It actually has B12 too. So you got C12, you got DHA, uh, docosahexaenoic acid, um, EPA, iodine, magnesium, uh, catalase, superoxide dismutase, which are the main enzymes for um, free radicals. You know what I'm saying? For Debo's. <laughs> as we say. Yeah, yep. You know what I'm saying? So pigments, it is, it's just an amazing product. And it gets absorbed right into your tissues without digestion. You don't even have to digest Fight Omega 3. When you mix it with water and you drink it, it goes right into the tissue on the way down. Mm -hmm. It ain't even none left by the time it gets to your stomach because it already done entered everywhere. Right. Right. Yeah. I think that is uh I'm gonna ask this last one about the honey. How much of the Nisut nectar should be taken daily? Okay, so if you have a jar, it comes with a spoon in addition to the honey dipper. And I would say take the honey dipper and drop about half a spoonful in there and you could take two of those a day. You know, um, the most optimum amount, I would say, is like two tablespoons a day every day. That that right there is like that's heaven sent. That's just a heaven sent dose right there. If You could do that. Um, if you have a dropper, you know, just take a dropper full, you know, daily and then, you know, bust a couple drops in your eyes you know, try them before bed so that you can have some very potent and powerful dreams. And you can you can say something like, you know, my intention is to decipher the algorithm of the Schumann resin anomaly that it took place June 19 and and drop them in your eye and go to bed and watch how the message comes to decipher what that code is. Mm. For you. Indeed. Uh, gotta ask this one before we got here because people always ask this. They want to know if they can smoke weed during the fast. I would say no. I would say I would say no smoking smoking weed on the fast. Um, if you want to do some type of tea, even if you want to do a capsule or something like that, that you know that's okay. You know, um, if you want to infuse something, maybe you want to infuse your juice or something like that, or your salad or something that you're preparing, that's okay. But we're going to stay away from um, the smoke in the lungs, you know, and and you could do that. You know, for the people, for, y for those of y'all out there that, that like to smoke weed, this is what I suggest y'all do. Y'all need to take your breaks. There's no reason to smoke weed every day, every week, every month, all year round. You don't need to do that. You know, even for the people that only smoke a couple times a week, you need to take your breaks. So every now and then you need to take two weeks to 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 two months off mm. you know what i'm saying and 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 breathe so you don't you don't form a dependency on it because people say oh weed's not addictive and everything like that the blunt wraps are addictive 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the behavior patterns that might be developed can be addictive, even mm -hmm. though the, the marijuana itself might not be, you know? So you got to gain more control over that, you know, because yeah. it's the, the reason that you want to smoke weed so much is because your dopamine's low, you know, your, your endorphins is low and you're not getting that sun. So you're using that as a replacement, you know, because you're not getting enough out of it. But I, you go out and you ground you get some of that sunlight, you, you come back inside, you're going to be like, I don't need to roll up right now. I'm straight. Real quick, KT, this girl must be real new to the channel, this lady here. Oh, she said, do you need to put sunscreen on because of skin cancer? Mm. Do you think because we don't ground that way, get, get skin cancer? Well, um, no, we, you actually get skin cancer from sunscreen. Sunscreen is the cause of the skin cancer, not the other way around. You know, and and don't don't let it fool you. Black people get yeah. skin cancer too. You know, and a lot of us do because we we slapping that that sunscreen on. You know, so um, when you look at sunscreen under UV light and a camera, you're gonna see that as opposed to being a white cream, it's gonna turn black. It is gonna be black. It's gonna look like somebody's in blackface. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what are you putting that on if you already got it embedded in the skin? You got it to the point where you'll generate the exact amount of hue and saturation as needed based on the environment that you're in. And a sunscreen can't do that. I saw this Instagram post, Rich, it was hilarious. This, this black kid was on the beach. This little black boy was on the beach with this white woman. He wasn't there with the white woman. He was on the beach and the white woman was over there putting... Um, sunscreen on so he just looking he just looking at see the, it, yeah. slapping it on slapping it on slapping it on and then she like you want some so he put his hand out so she squirted the sunscreen on there so he put it on his palms yeah. and on the bottom <laughs> of his feet and they put it up because <laughs> he was like this is the only thing that looked like your skin like i ain't yeah, about to put none of that on here Good, that I, was was like, I was the whole time i was like what are you about to do man that was that was hilarious that yeah, was yeah, hilarious. yeah 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 he got uh, good with that one kt any alternatives you want to get the sister here um mm -hmm. instead of sunscreen what she could put on like i said you don't you don't need nothing put on the the sunscreen don't some people say coconut oil? Don't people, some people? people people are people think they have to put something on their skin because they're used to going out in the day later in the day to deal with the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, I'm going out, you know, to get some sun. So they go out first time they going out to get sun is at like two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Do you see the sun at two? The sun ain't playing at two o'clock. That that thing is wild. So it's too intense at that time. You know what I mean? It's like it's like going into a room um, after it's pitch black. You want a dimmer. You hit the dimmer and you start sliding the dimmer up until it gets bright and your eyes adjust. Your body has melanopsin in 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 all of your skin cells, which means you're one big eyeball. You got to treat your body the same way. So what you need to do is start getting up and catching the morning sun and getting that sun exposure which stimulates the, the pooling of the red blood cells to the surface of the skin, which also initiates the production of nitric oxide, you know, on, on the surface of the skin as well. You know, this is what prepares the body for later in the day when you go out to get your UVB treatment so you get vitamin D. The mm -hmm. first is the, the setting of the tone in the morning. Then you go back out and get the intense sun. Then you close up shop by getting the setting sun. That's what you need. That that's that's the process. You don't need to slab anything up. Now you go to the beach. Yeah, you could put some salvation on. You could put some bantana on. You could put some shea butter on. Cocoa butter on. You know what I mean? Coconut oil on. But you don't need to use that as a sunscreen in order to tolerate the sun. You need to get up and see the first sun before you see the second and the third sun. Mm. Like, Indeed. why are you start with two and three when there's a one? Facts, facts. You know? All right, family. So we're about to get out of here. Um, I see some of y'all still asking. I'm not repeating how to join the fast. Just rewind the video. 
I got a, I'm a little tired right now. I'm going to start uh, responding to y'all, sending this stuff out, getting ready for the mall. I'm going to enjoy the next seven days. It's a journey of a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Big yeah. things is going down, family. It's go time, as KT said. The universe, the earth is talking to us like never before. Be active, be present, be available, listen, talk back. It's time, family. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what all the information, Bobby Hammett, Dr. Valentine, Dr. Sabi. It was all about doing things like this. That's right. Pain, you know? Yes, sir. Yes, so uh, sir. Yes, I, 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 I want to thank KT for hosting this, being a part of this, um, inspiring us. He certainly has inspired my diet and my, my, my health regimen and uh, my family's as well. So, yeah, it's time, family. Thank you for tuning in. We had a packed house tonight. And uh, we're going to see everybody tomorrow on the Discord link. I will send the link out tomorrow morning, late tonight. Everybody will get a Discord link in their email. If you didn't get the PDF for the fast, check your junk email. But whatever email you left on the Cash app, that's where it will be going, family. All right? Once With again, the Cash app is scrolling at the, the bottom, bottom of the screen. Okay? Yeah. It's right there. Get the spelling correctly. The PayPal he put up during the course of this video so you can get that there as well, you know. And once you do that, then you will receive the email. All right. And then you can move forward. But I will be in the discord tomorrow. This is the time when y'all get to holler at me. Oh, yeah. And that's the last thing. Um, I still have uh, a few consultation spots available probably be shutting it down on Thursday. That'll probably be the last day. I'll take those down. Um, I appreciate the, the response to the consultations that I've gotten so far. Um, probably got two more slots left. So just to let y'all know about that. And Marie Richardson, I, uh, I refunded you by accident. I'm sorry. I see that. That was an accident earlier. I apologize. Um, and Eddie Thomas, you did not leave your email. If you're going to send, uh, something for the fast, make sure you leave your email. All right. Uh, but Amory, that was my fault. I, I, I did that by accident. That was my fault, Amory. With that being said, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to see everybody tomorrow on the discord. Um, there was something I wanted to show KT. I didn't bring it up with me. Uh, we'll talk about it in the discord. Yeah. We'll talk about it in discord. Okay. Hey, Hey, family, with that being said, we're getting out of here. Thank you, everybody. KT, thanks, my brother. See hey, you tomorrow. Thank you. Peace and yeah. love, y'all. Yes, sir. Peace.